When I joined Waymo, or Google Chauffeur as it was known at the time, they were just winding up their first demo project. It provided a self-driving golf cart taxi and whistle car service and got the name Project Caddy. In 2009, Google testers were able to summon a cart using a phone app. Android itself was just a year old back then, and it would come on its own to your marked stop. You could swipe your badge and either decide to drive the cart yourself along the streets and paths of Google's spread out campus, or on certain routes, the cart would take you for a ride on its own, doing the driving for you. Caddy was designed to be very cheap. Inside were just cameras and ultrasonic sensors, plus inertial sensors and a super accurate odometer. LIDARs and radars were beyond the budget in those days. This semi-closed private campus, point-to-point -point taxi, might remind you of the big Wii Robot demo done recently for the announcement of the Tesla CyberCab concept. The Tesla demo is much more slick and sophisticated, but the core functionality was the same, but 15 years later. The big lesson from that is not simply that the small 15-person chauffeur team and the two top engineers who led Caddy were highly skilled, which they are, but rather that from this sort of demo, there is still a long way to go. Fifteen years later, that same skilled team with many more people is just starting to scale and is giving out 150,000 rides per week to the public. Caddy had one special trick. It could go off the golf cart paths and sidewalks onto a public street, but at the intersection it talked to a box with radar in it, so it could be fully sure that no traffic was coming. Of course, all the robo-taxis in operation today have radars and more mounted on the car. The use of sensors built into the roadway remains a controversial topic, but almost everybody avoids them for now, and for good reason. To get going, you've got to drive on the road you're given not change the world to suit your task. The whistle car concept, where a car delivers itself to you, but you drive, is actually very useful to get self-driving going. There are some companies doing it today, but with remote drivers rather than a computer system. We're past it now, though, and millions have now used real robotaxis around the world. One of the places that that all began was here, in Caddy. I'm Brad Templeton for Robocars.com. Check the link in the description for a tech story with more details.